Hi everyone, welcome back to Rose Stops Buying Stuff. In last week's video I went through my 2020 beauty rehab plans. In that video I did mention that I had some empties videos and some declutters videos coming at you. Today the contents of this box are what I went through in the first two months of 2020. There's not that much so this should be quite a quick easy video to get through. <laughs> I will go through the three makeup items that I used up first, then go on to the skincare. Well, this obviously is quite an unhelpful visual, um, but I did use up this little sample pot of foundation, which I'd said was worth $1 because it was just a sample, and it was the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. I really, really enjoyed this. I would definitely consider buying this foundation as a full size in the future. I have also finished up this Stila eyeshadow. Obviously, there is some product still clinging to the side, but I've got out as much as I can from it. This was in the shade Smouldering Satin. I really, really like these steel eyeshadows. I've spoken about them before. They do absolutely dry up, but I do think, to be fair, the smaller ones that I've got have dried up more quickly than the full-size ones, probably just because the sort of product air ratio is not the same. Once I've got my makeup collection under control, I would definitely buy more of these eyeshadows once I knew that I could use them in sufficient time before I'd be having to declutter them because they've dried out. But this one I did manage to use up and it was worth $12. And the last product, this is from my makeup inventory, but some people may call this skincare, but it's a lip balm. It's one of the fresh sugar ones. It was in the rose shade, so it was the, the pinky one. I've scraped right down into the bottom of it, so there's none left. I don't know if I'd rush out to repurchase another one of these. I've got a few and I do really like them. I will finish them all up, and if I got more of them, um, you know I would happily use them up but for me I am really enjoying the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector so in terms of lip balms that's what I would repurchase now but this one was worth $12.13 so those are my three makeup items that I finished up so a quantity of three and a value of $25.13 worth of makeup used. I didn't use up any um, hair care products at all, so the rest is all skincare. The first item that I used up skincare wise was this Lazero Cleanse and Polish. This was a limited edition one for Christmas, I think, two years ago. It is the Sweet Orange and Clove. Not two years ago, sorry, it would have been three years ago. It would have been 2017. It would have been before I started my no buy, obviously. So Christmas 2017, I think. I didn't enjoy the sweet orange and clove in terms of like my eyes reacted to it so I could only use this over my face I couldn't take it over my eyes whereas the normal Lazero cleansing polish I can use around my eyes so I wouldn't repurchase um, this particular scent but I would repurchase the normal version of this product. Because this is quite a big size it was worth $36 towards my total. I also used up a small Origins Checks and Balances cleanser. Now this is in the cleanser category of my inventory but this actually dries my skin out so I didn't use it on my face. I actually just used it as a shower gel and it was worth $2.35 towards my total. I finished up this Superdrug um, Glycolic Toner. This was worth $7.87. For me, I think chemical exfoliator wise, I really enjoy either just doing like an AHA based mask or my Kiehl's Micro Peel Overnight Treatment, which you can use every single night. It's gentle. It's doing kind of what this does, but I just prefer that basically. So yeah, I feel like I would rather repurchase a peel or a treatment than another toner. I used up two eye mask products, the first of which was this Sephora one. This was worth $5. It was one that's supposed to obviously be um, perfecting and brightening, as it helpfully says there. They are very much a sort of temporary effect, but yeah, absolutely no issues with that. I would buy it again, use it for a night out or something like that, and it doesn't irritate my eyes. So you kind of know that what you're signing up for with these, I think, isn't a long-term thing. It is just, it is what it is. Um, so as long as you know that and you're not expecting this one mask to work absolute miracles, um, I think they're quite good. Along a similar line, I used this Dr. Jart cheek and eye lift. This was worth $9. This I wouldn't repurchase. This was really quite strange. It sort of had loads of holes in it and it was like a double layer thing in the serum. You had to sort of push the serum out through the holes and it also, you had to keep it on for a really long time. You have to leave this one on for half an hour, which because it is a cheek and eye lift, it's quite a large thing to have sticking to your face for half an hour. And I feel like when I'm doing sort of eye things, like generally, like for example, when I'm doing this one, um, because these are quite small, I can sort of get on with things and do my hair and whatever and they're not it doesn't interrupt using this whereas because this was kind of all over my face I couldn't get on with doing another part of getting ready whilst I had this on.
I wouldn't repurchase like a big one like this because it is essentially a full sheet mask more or less but I definitely would repurchase more of these. I finished up my Glossier Super Bounce Serum. I enjoyed using this and I have absolutely no issues and would happily use it up again but this was worth $28 towards my total and I don't think in terms of the ingredients etc I think there are more sort of affordable basic hydrating serums out there to use so um, I didn't actually repurchase this, although I replaced it. I replaced it with the version from The Ordinary. I chose not to spend the same amount of money in this because I just don't think, in terms of what it's doing, it's not an advanced skincare function. And yeah, I just didn't really feel that it was worth that sort of higher price point for the job that it does. I also finished up this little sample of the Kiehl's Breakout Control Blemish Treatment Facial Lotion. This was worth $4. I don't think it's something I would really repurchase. I get a breakout kind of around that time of the month. It's generally hormonal and I feel like this, the products that I like for it are the Origins Out of Trouble Mask, the La Roche-Posay Efficlar Duo and then I do also really quite like the Kiehl's on the spot treatment but that one has actually been discontinued so I will be looking to probably replace that with something else when it comes to it and I finish that one up but I don't really feel that this is really the one for me. I used up two sheet masks. The first one was this Mizon one um, which is a nourishing one for rough skin. Overall I think similarly to what I said about eye patches when you use a sheet mask it's a one-off one-use product and you know it's not going to really change your skin in the sort of long term but I did enjoy using this, my skin felt good afterwards and yeah it was worth five dollars and I would happily use it up again. I also used up this one and again to be honest same sort of thing, this one was worth $1.99, it was absolutely fine, no complaints. Do I see a long term change in my skin from using it? Absolutely not. Um, did I expect to? Absolutely not. I enjoy a sheet mask but I think you have to accept that it, it is what it is kind of thing, it's going to make your skin look good for a day and you need to upkeep your skincare routine to make long-term changes. I will happily keep buying sheet masks, I will happily keep using them up. Obviously, I won't. when I say keep buying them, I'm obviously doing my no-buy at the moment, but in the future, I will purchase more sheet masks and I will continue to use them and continue to enjoy them. And the last product, which is from my Project Pan, so as you can see, I have panned it, and it is my Kiehl's Creme de Corps body lotion. This was the 125ml size. This was worth $12. I really like this body lotion. I have now rolled in, because I had more than one bottle of it, I've rolled in this, the other bottle into my project. It's reasonably lightweight, but it does, I would use it then, I would brush my teeth so that it's kind of got that time to sink in. It does take a little longer than like an oil or whatever to sink in, but I do think it's a fairly quick one to be able to kind of put on and be able to get on with your day. It's got no scent, it's not overly fussy, it's not overly fancy. It does what it says in the tin and I really enjoy it. So those are my skincare products that I used up. So there was 10 products there worth a total of $111.21, which means that in addition to the three makeup products, my first empties video of 2020 has taken $136.34 worth of product out of my inventory and also reduced it by a total of 13 products. In terms of how that's affected the individual categories, my skincare total at the start of the year was $8,749.16 across 322 products. That is now 312 products, so brought it down by 10 obviously. Um, and the new skincare total is worth $8,637.95. In terms of makeup, my makeup that I opened 2020 with was worth $18,626.41 across 876 items. Obviously only three makeup items used up worth $25.13. However, I did also do my declutter video, which if you've not seen that, I will link it up in the end card for you. And that also reduced it by $342.52. And that means that my current makeup total now is worth $18,258.76. And my hair care total, as you can see, didn't use any hair care products up in this video. So my hair care started at $1,985.88 and is currently still there, pending my next empties video, which is coming soon. I opened 2020 with an inventory of $29,346.45 and following the first declutter and empties video of the year I've got that down to $28,867.59. We are on our way to getting to that $3,000 that I'm looking to reduce it by this year. Hope you've enjoyed this, thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye!